never said this about anything before, but it's so pretty! Please work. the linen cotton blend, the hand stitching, and the cut of the tunic, plus the super retro ivory skull detailing on the strap, I'd say she's been in here since at least the mid-17th century. It's like that yeti they found trapped in ice. Except for the fashion thing. When they thawed the ice, the yeti was still alive. What if she's still alive? We have to get her out of there. Holly, it's highly unlikely. If a little pockite can shrink a person, maybe being stuck in a lot of pockite can keep a person alive. She... She's moving! Oh, I wish I were filming this. <gasps> Ahoy, strangers! <laughs> Your garments be mighty odd. Uh, well, I never... <laughs> Hello. I bet you're very confused. <gasps> Whoa! Go big! I guess she's not that confused. <laughs> wow! My great-uncle Montgomery was a journalist and freedom fighter. My great-grandma had stellar style. The trail on my ancestors is colder than a haunted ice cave. Wanna borrow a few of mine? They're pretty cool. Prudence Pocket, founder of Littleton. Portia, first female sheriff. Even Uncle Prescott was known for his pickle recipe. <laughs> uh, Polly? Pickles might not seem impressive, but you should try them. Tart, but- Polly, your ears! <gasps> the locket's working! Go! I'm big again! Um, arm alert! Oh no! We have to get you... Oh no! Don't worry, Shawnee. Go big! Go big! Polly must have angered the patrons of the paranormal. Why not the matrons? What is going... Hmm. Come on, let's go before Grumpy McShushy Pants sees you two. <laughs> Full size never felt so good. Polly? Get that thing off your neck before it goes wackadoo again! Oh. Uh, sorry about that. You hooligans are banished from the library! Get out now! Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Have you even practiced? Yeah, a number of times. Is that number greater than or less than two? Um, less than? But, Polly, we only have a week before the auditions for the modern dervish dance troupe at the McGlamour Theater. I know, but once I get the hang of the whole twirling thing, the rest will be easy. What? I'm very dancey. <laughs> See how I did that? Graceful to the max. Now, go big! Ow! While you recover from that, uh... Grace, I know something that always makes us feel better. <gasps> Karaoke! We are stronger together. There's nothing we can do. All together we'll get through. And next up for Peanuts Pit Stop Karaoke Night, Gwen Grande! <laughs> I changed my mind. Get the thing away from me. Now! Looks like 
it's time for an encore. Yeah, baby, I love you. Pierce is sure enjoying himself. Someone has to. Yep, my brother's got that old pocket confidence. Looks like Gwen could use a bit of it. She was way too scared to sing. Maybe we could help her build some confidence. You want to help Gwen? Gwen, Grizel's granddaughter. The locket stealer. Doing a good thing is still a good thing, even if the person we're doing it for is... Gwen? Besides, there's another reason to help. An ulterior motive? If we help her gain confidence, she'll be so busy doing fun stuff that she won't have time to even think about stealing the locket. Mm, okay, I'm in. I've been dying to get my hands on Gwen's wardrobe since kindergarten. Her wardrobe? I thought we were all about making her confident. When you look good, you feel good. Why do you think I always feel great? Well, we know one thing for sure. Gwen will never take our advice, which means we have to be sneaky. What could possibly be a bad idea about going tiny and sneaking into Grizel's pet house to redo Gwen's wardrobe? There's no way they'll stay home when there's a massive sale going on at Miniature Alley. Are you sure this is going to work? 30% off! Ooh, can we stop at the costume shop on the way home? I need a new hot dog costume. The buttons are sagging on my old one. Are you sure this is the right way? Positive. Why? Because it seems like the wrong way. I have a keen sense of direction. But let's take a breather. My tootsies need some serious R&R. Are we slowly moving downward? We are. And does this appear to be a large pool of quicksand? It does. Ah! Johnny? Nicholas? Polly! Go big! Come on, Lila! Polly! Lila! Almost dead! Johnny! Nicholas! Hurry! The fog is eating me! You mean us, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, what to do? What to do? Can I make a suggestion? Of course. Do something! If you get that tree branch in, I got it. Hold on to this super tight. Got it! Thanks for the padding. Now let's get back to size and back to our trek. Go big! Go big! That's odd. What the? Okay, it's probably just like when it wasn't working for Grandma. What? The gears are moving the wrong way. Go big, Lila! Tiny power! <laughs> yeah! So are you sure you want to wear those shoes with that dress? <clears throat> Twist will be the most advanced move that any of Devin's crew can do. And you're the only skater on our team skilled enough to try it. This is it. Moment of truth. you didn't nail that one move doesn't mean you won't kill it in the competition. 
Wait, if Polly kills it, her safety gear better not die, too. I spent a lot of time on it. Anyway, maybe Hamal has to move down. Hamal! Dude, that's not how you wear a beanie. Duh. Better now? Nah, your board should have wolves on it, not ducks. Dude, ducks are cool. They have three eyelids and can see in color. I'm Pierce. I like ducks. Lame. Hey, speaking of ducks, duck face! <sighs> Maybe your brother didn't want you here because he was shielding you from that goof. No way. Pierce shielding me? Orders, take, take your marks. marks. Get, Get set. set. Now lean hard into the turn. Thanks, Coach Grandma. Hold on! Great job! The pockets are back on the slopes! What's next? After this straightaway, big right turn. You've got this! Listen closely, Gwen. This is imperative. Make sure Polly is in first when you get to the midpoint of the race. Let's just say she won't know what hit her. Copy. Copy what? I'll have to take that as a yes. Move it, slow border. Don't pay any attention to her. This is your race, Polly. We're gaining on her. No, 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 no! That's not what I want! Grandma, hang on. Out of the way! It's coming right for you! Use the locket, Polly. That's it! Polly? Lila? What are you doing? Finding your rocket. I wasn't trying to cheat with my project. I only shrunk it to make it easier to carry. Yeah, Mrs. Vasquez got the wrong idea. Really? Your project isn't about miniaturization? No, it's about breeding colorful pea plants. I jumped to a conclusion without a complete data set. Scientifically speaking, that's a no-no. <sighs> I'm sorry, Polly. It's okay, Shawnee. Now, I hate to cut this friendship moment short, but if my rocket goes into the compactor, its fuel will go kaboom! Get it! Ha ha ha! Brazil? Skip the pleasantries and give me the locket! Eat mystery meat! <laughs> You wanna play dirty, huh? Ha ha ha! Enjoy Taco Tuesday on Friday! Weapon. Old sweat socks from the boys' locker room! <gasps> Give me the locket or you get a face full of sweat sock! Oh, no, no. Not only are they old and smelly, but they're mismatched. Now that is a nightmare. Tiny power! <laughs>
stuff. The only way you could get me to eat hay is if it was cold pressed and labeled a superfood. Hand it over! from somewhere. <gasps> Quit rolling around with that pig, Gwen! We need to get that locket! Gwen! Enough 